I've got a plan for the pack. You know that old inn near my flat that's for sale? Well, I want to buy it, turn the upstairs into a living space for the pack and have the pack run the pub downstairs. They need a reason to get up in the morning and this can give it to them, not to mention the money it will bring in. Why that place? Well, I know this sounds weird, but it sort of calls to me. Like it thinks I'm the one that can bring it back to life. I've walked past it ever since I moved into my flat, and it's just been sitting there, empty. I think it was something special once, but now it needs a total rebuild. Exactly. That's where the pack comes in. Fixing the place up gives them something to focus on and work at together. And once it's finished, they'll have a place to live, a business to run, and a source of income. And it gives everyone a job that'll help them get acclimated to living in the human world. Tending bar, wait staff, kitchen crew, security, you name it. The place needs help, and so does the pack. Besides, I think it will make a great addition to the neighbourhood. Although you wouldn't know it from just talking to him, Moondoggy is actually really good at working with his hands and bringing old machines back to life. I hope he accepts the beta wolf role, but at the very least, we could sure use his help on a project like this. I'll text him to meet us at his flat so we can talk to his landlord about a place to put the pack temporarily while we get the old inn fixed up. Hey Moondoggy, thanks for meeting with me. I have an idea for the pack, but I'm gonna need your help putting it together. Oh, you need my help? Oh, with what? I want to fix up the old inn and pub down the road from my flat, make the upstairs into the pack's new house, and have them run the pub downstairs as a business. You have a way with old machines, and you know how to handle a hammer and a saw. Or well, considering the condition of the place, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Oh, dude, I love working on old buildings. Oh, they're even better than, than working on a pillow fort. Oh, this'll be sweet, dude. Well, we'll see if the pack agrees with you in a few minutes. Mate, I want you as my beta. But whether you agree or not, I want you to know, I appreciate your help with the pub. Oh, you got it, bro. Thanks, Moondoggy. I'll get the check and we can get going. Hi Christian, I appreciate you meeting up with me like this. I've been out of touch for a while now. What have things been like for the pack? I'm sure you remember the way things were under Fredo years ago. Nothing much has changed. If anything, he only got worse. I'm not surprised. No one is ever going to convince Fredo to change. Or worse that he might be wrong about something. Fredo was always right. Just ask him. But seriously, what can I do to help? 
Well, the first problem for me is the pack's living arrangement. I live in human form, in the human world. I mean, I love a good run in the forest in wolf form from time to time, but I don't stay in the woods and I don't stay in wolf form. If that's how the pack wants to live, more power to them, but it won't be with me as the pack leader. I think everyone is wanting a change, Jeremy, but I don't think they know how to get there. I have something in mind, but I'm not sure how the pack is going to feel about it. Down the road a bit from my flat is an old inn with a pub on the first floor and rooms upstairs. My idea is to convert the upstairs area into living quarters for the pack and we run the pub as our revenue source. The building is for sale right now. It has good potential, but it needs work. Probably a lot of work. I think we could make it into something really nice, and the pub could bring in a good amount of money if we do it right. I think your idea has a lot of potential. The pack needs to feel like they're actually a part of something. Something they're invested in, not just blindly following orders from Fredo the Tyrant. Well, when they've had their morning coffee, and I'll tell them what I have in mind, do you think someone will be difficult to work with? Not likely. Like I said earlier, the pack has been looking for a change, and this is definitely that. I appreciate your help, Christian. I have no doubt there's going to be a few bumps getting things sorted with the pack. Speaking of which, I've asked Moondoggy to be my beta wolf, but he hasn't given me his answer yet. Would you be willing to stay on as advisor till things get settled? I'll stay on until the pack is back on its feet, but eventually I want to start a pack of my own. Your own pack? Yes. No offence to you, Jeremy. I think you're exactly what this pack needs. But I've been thinking about starting my own pack for some time now. Oh, let's face it, I'm not getting any younger. It's becoming a now or never proposition. Oh, I completely understand the need to go out on your own. If that's what you want, I'm not going to stand in your way. Thank you, Jeremy. You really are nothing like Fredo, are you? As little as possible. What well, sounds like a recipe for success to me. Well, hopefully the pack likes the idea too. Well, that went easier than I expected. Now we have the little detail of buying the inn to worry about. If that comes together, then remodeling it to fit our needs. I believe this is what they refer to as the sweat equity plan. Well, you're spot on there, Channing. Calling it a fixer-upper is stretching things a bit. I'm curious to know the history of the place, but I'm not sure where to find any information on it. Records office. They keep track of all the old buildings in the area. Oh, that sounds perfect. Aren't you glad I brought you along? <laughs>